I'm going to use this plastic demonstration shock to show you how shock absorbers function on your vehicle. Basically, as the tire and wheel movement oscillates on the vehicle, the piston inside the shock absorber cycles through hydraulic fluid. Now, all shock absorbers, whether they be gas or conventional hydraulic, work on a column of oil. When the piston moves through the column of oil, we have differentiations in pressure. Now, most conventional shock absorbers and gas pressure shock absorbers work on what we call a low pressure system. And I'm going to remove the pressure that we've installed in the shock absorber earlier to show you how a low pressure system works. Now this shock absorber is under what we call a low pressure condition, which is at atmospheric pressure or slightly above. Now when I cycle the piston through the shock absorber, you'll see that it cavitates immediately, starts to lose its control, its viscosity, and basically all the functions that the shock absorber was designed for. In fact, as you can see here, it gives a whole new meaning to the word car sickness. What I'm going to do now is pressurize the same shock absorber using high pressure gas on the other side of this dividing piston, the Bilstein concept, in order to stabilize this oil column. As you can see, immediately, a lot of the cavitation is removed from the oil column. As the tire wheel movement continues to function, or the piston, it will continue to stabilize itself. This provides a very finite control. Up to two millimeters of wheel movement is completely dampened, and the viscosity of the oil is stabilized, so you get 98% peak efficiency from a Bilstein shock absorber for the lifetime of its use.